I'm gonna have to stop calling John Krasinski Jim from The Office because that's always how I know him. That's always how I'm gonna reference him, Jim from The Office. But after this movie, I'm gonna have to start calling that man John Krasinski because this man has a future in directing. A Quiet Place. This new film is directed, written, and starring John Krasinski, a.k.a. Jim from The Office, who is now all buff with a beard and looks awesome and was gonna be Captain America but fell short to that. But he's making his third film, which in my most anticipated video I did say uh, his directorial debut. I actually didn't know that he directed two other movies. I had no idea. So, I, minus that little misunderstanding, this is his third film he's directed and this is a horror film that has like a hundred percent Rotten Tomatoes. I've heard nothing bad about this movie. I had a lot of hype going to this movie and I'm going to give you the basic storyline because I don't want you guys to know anything to go in this movie. This is going to be a really basic review. Nothing too detailed, nothing like that. A few parts I will get into detail but I'll warn you a minute. Okay, so the basic storyline in A Quiet Place is it's set in the future in a world where everyone is gone, people are dead, it is pretty much a disaster, no one is alive except uh, Jim from The Office, so Jim, John Kowalski, Emily Blunt, they are a family with three kids and they are living in this world and they have to be silent because these creatures, all they can do is hear and they have really good hearing. They have to be super duper quiet, like walk on sand. They, ha they can't make any sounds. Everything that around them is like very soft with little, like when they play a game, it's literally soft like things when they roll it. It's rolled onto like a soft pillow or a blanket. It is set in a world where they cannot make a sound. It is terrifying. And these creatures are out here and you can't make a sound. And of course, they make sounds. The creatures come and it is an intense, intense movie. That's the key word in this movie. This movie is very intense. From the first shot to the last, it was an intense movie. Moments you're like, oh my god, shut up, shut up, shut up, be quiet, be quiet. And you're like, oh, it is gut-wrenching grip on your thing. And I loved it. And the reason why it was so good, the directing. John Krasinski directed the living poop out of this movie. He did an amazing job. 100% did an amazing, amazing job. He he deserves a, so much credit for this directing. He is, I, I, I can't believe he directed it. It was so good directing. He had great suspense, great camera work. The cinematography was even awesome. I mean, this man needs to direct way more movies. He is such a good director. And he also does give a really good performance. There are some tough things. I mean, he can't, he literally has like four lines in this movie. Everything else is face, special, and sign language. And he does an amazing job. He killed it in this movie, but the one who really stole the show, Emily Blunt, I mean, oh my gosh, what she had to go in this movie and do in this movie, I mean, that's hard to do, and she nailed it. She gives an Oscar nomination performance in this movie, in my opinion. She was great in this movie. I thought she was amazing. This is one of her best performances, and she barely says anything in this movie. And when she does, it's either sign language or like the one scene where they can actually talk to each other. And yes, the, the creative ability, the originalness of this movie, it just it feels so good to see it because this is an original movie. I mean, I haven't seen other movies like this. I love the idea of them being quiet. Yes, the whole the the whole movie, it's a very quiet movie. And it, it does get scary. It does get scary. It's very intense. And I will say, I won't spoil it, but when you do see the design of the creature, it is one of my favorite favorite designs of a creature I've seen in a long time. I loved the design of this creature. I absolutely loved it. The kids were also really good. The main daughter in this movie, who is deaf in the movie, she is great. And the sound design is some of the best sound design I've heard in many years. It goes back to different characters, and with different characters, they can hear things. So when it goes to her, it's deaf, and there's no sound, and it is great sound editing and sound design. I love that stuff. And yes, the main question, is the movie scary? There are some intense, 
very intense, scary scenes. I really thought this movie got under my skin in some scenes. There are some great scares in this movie, and I just love the intensity, the directing, the acting, the stories, characters who cared for him, you wanted them to live, you wanted to survive, and how original this movie was. It just sparkled in this movie how original it was. You're like, this is such a good movie. But I do have one big criticism. Besides the okay, the few minor criticisms, there's a few times you're like, how did they do that? Or how did they do this? Like it's like those moments you're like, but da, 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 da. but that's just like little plot, tiny plot holes that just you can forgive. Like first off, how do they get this electricity? They never so generated nothing. Like I have no idea how they got this electricity. But that's beyond the point. My biggest criticism, hands down. I did not like the ending. Ah, uh, that I feel so wrong because I know there's gonna be some people out there. When you see this movie, please leave a comment down below. Tell me your opinion of this ending because I don't like where it left off, and I don't like. I just don't like it. I don't know. It just didn't feel like a perfect ending. It felt very like, really? Yeah. Come on. Like, it's, I didn't love the ending. Like the last five minutes of this movie, I think have been taken out. And I've been like, okay, this movie is an A+. I loved it. It was great. It was so good. But that ending, it just did not land on me at all. And that was the biggest thing. Now, honestly, I am seeing the movie again next week. So it might change for me. I'm not sure. Because I really like this movie. But that ending, it just didn't land with me. I don't know. I'll say this. I'll compare it to another movie. So this is minor spoilers if, if, if you get the reference. If you've seen the movie Signs... The very end of that movie, there's a huge criticism that everyone just doesn't like, even me, in Signs. That reminded me of this ending a whole bunch. That's all I'm going to say. That's what it reminded me of. But besides the ending, the movie's really good. It is worth your money. Go and see it. It is really good. It's original. It's scary. It's intense. It's fadoodles. Go and see it. John Krasinski and Emily Blunt give great performances. And John Krasinski directed the living poop out of this movie. Go see A Quiet Place. I highly recommend it. And I will give it a high A-. minus. Again, the ending is the only thing that bothers me. Everything else is a must-see. I can't wait to go see it again next week. I, I, I am. I'm excited to go see it again next week. Even though the ending, I'm excited to go see the end. I'm, I'm excited, guys. I want to see it again. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoy this review. And one more thing, quick little thing. Usually I get the big reviews tonight. I won't get my Blockers review until probably maybe Saturday. If I get it tomorrow night, I'll be lucky if I do. But I will be seeing it this weekend. It just might take a day or two. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Bye-bye.